Hi, everybody. Welcome to week 12 of our English 3010 online course. Whew. We are coming to the final stages of this semester, and I am really excited because in these next couple of weeks, we really get to focus on finalizing our literature reviews. Now, that's going to mean different things for different people. And in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the assignments I've built into these next couple of weeks to help us think really carefully through the end of this assignment. The other fun thing that's coming up that I always get excited about this time of year is the writing showcase. And in this video, I'm going to talk you through what the showcase is, what you can do as a part of our class to participate in the showcase and a little bit of the rhetorical situation surrounding the showcase, which will help you think through your participation in that. So I'm going to switch right over to our Canvas view so we can get into this week's assignments. Okay, so here we are in our home page for Canvas. Week 12, it's like this weird week that straddles March and April. I'm going to get into these assignments in just a second, but really quick, I just wanted to direct your attention to the very top of our home page, which is where all of our recent announcements get posted. Now, you guys should be getting emails from me with the announcements sort of baked into them, or at least you can always see my announcements every week at the top of this page. But I wanted to also signal boost our amazing peer mentors. Mubasher and Avanti have been so faithful and so incredibly helpful to you guys. They are here to support you and they always post an announcement to remind you of their office hours. They each hold office hours. Avi goes at the beginning of the week. Mubasher goes at the end of the week just to try to cover all of the bases for you guys to make sure that you feel supported across the week. So don't forget, your peer mentors are here to support you. Okay, so here we are, week 12. And it's a week of reflection, and that's going to come into play when we talk a little bit about this reflection assignment at the end of this video. But let's go in to this week's overview. And really, you know, to this week might feel like it's a light week, but I really want to challenge every single one of you, even if you feel like you, you're done with your literature review, I want to challenge you to read it through one more time and read it through in a way that you have not read it yet. For example, if you've been doing a lot of silent reading and composing on the keyboard, composing in your head, try reading it out loud. If you've already read it to yourself out loud, Try reading it backwards. And by backwards, I mean go to the very end, read the last sentence, then like a typewriter, go to the sentence before that, go to the sentence before that, and just keep going up and up backwards through your paper. Now, why am I issuing this challenge? Because what we want to pay attention to this week are the lower order concerns. Usually they're the last things to come when you're doing revision processes, but they're still really important. And so I want to challenge you, if you haven't read it out loud, reading out loud is such a helpful way for me as a writer to catch just little things that I may have glossed over in my revisions of middle order and higher order concerns. Also, if you read it backwards, that really slows down your processing speed, so you can't just sort of like glaze through it because you know where you're going. It's messing with that uh, flow in the logical processing realm. So what you're gonna do when you read it backwards is force yourself to focus sentence by sentence. Either way, that's your challenge from me this week because I really want these literature reviews to have super clean and polished lower order concerns, as clean and polished as you can make them. And I'm trying to give you guys time to do that. You know how you always feel rushed at the end of an assignment? That's what I was trying not to do. So like we are still revising and then your final draft isn't going to be due until the end of next week. So you should have plenty of time to really carefully 
revise your literature reviews, make them really strong. You're going to do that anyway. Tasks this week, watch your week 12 instructor video, which you're already doing, air five. Review any feedback that you haven't seen from me or from your peers. We did peer review last week. Reread that literature literature review. Read it in a new way. Gather any more relevant sources if you're not happy with them yet. In terms of writing, you're just continuing to revise. Discussion six. Oh, and I hadn't written this down yet, but your project builder nine is your reflection in action, which we'll talk about a little bit later. So breaking down the week, by Wednesday-ish, definitely have watched this video and started on your lower order concerns read through of your lit review. Keep on with those lower order revisions and then discussion six, which is your showcase prep and project builder nine, which is your reflection in action assignment. Now, when it comes to showcase stuff, a lot of you have been in either my class for English 1020 or you've been in another composition learning community class and maybe you already know what the writing showcase is but maybe you don't maybe you're like what even is this Nicole I saw it on the syllabus at the beginning of the semester and I'm still confused I am so glad you asked because I will tell you I'm taking you to the composition learning community Facebook page it's facebook.com slash WSUCLC. And what you'll see when you visit is a bunch of stuff like we post, we try to post fairly often. I'm gonna show you some photos of past showcases and then I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how it looks online. Okay, so in general, the writing showcase is usually an event that we do at the end of every semester. And I'll just show you for an example, here's some pictures from our showcase in the fall of 2019. So as you can see, this was pre-COVID times and we were able to gather, we gather at the end of each semester in the community room in the UGL. Do you guys remember when we could like physically go to the libraries on campus? Wasn't it dreamy? So, it's just an awesome event. We get together, students create their presentations of different things that they choose, wh whether it's thinking about conceptual art or their infographics or participating in writing activities. The best part though, is that like everyone just gets to hang out. We get to like talk to each other about the work that we've done in our composition courses, be they first year composition courses or intermediate comp like you guys are in. So this is what the showcase normally is, but it's a pandemic still. And so that's kind of a bummer, <laughs> but what we ended up doing is we've transitioned to an online event. So last semester, we held it on Facebook, and that's a video of me being the MC. so don't pay too much attention to that. So here's what it looked like online. We had a bunch of participants, we had me chatting away, and then we had a place where everyone could post their pieces. So. The writing showcase is usually a place where we can both showcase writing that we've done and participate in the community of composition students and instructors and peer mentors. So what we did was we kind of like moved it online, migrated it here. And if you go to this event in, on our Facebook page, you can scroll through and see some of the stuff that folks posted last semester. Um, some students did remixes of learning outcomes. Um, a bunch of people participated in these weird videos where I, it's just my face. It was actually just me kind of emceeing, like everyone participating via comments in the comment thread. This is a keynote where I kind of talk about like the purpose of the showcase. So if you want a little more info on that, you can check out the showcase keynote from last semester. 
And then you can see like links to a bunch of student videos where they're talking through different assignments. You can see peer mentor videos, um, just a bunch of cool examples of how folks have talked through their assignments in the past. Now, one of the downsides of using Facebook Live we discovered, and you'll see if you watch any of these silly videos, is that only one person can be talking at a time. So last semester, God bless everyone who participated, it was a lot of my face. And we're gonna try to avoid that this go around. So what we're gonna do is instead of having it on Facebook Live, we are going to create a Zoom link that everyone will be able to click on and participate in like a giant Zoom event. We'll be able to have multiple instructors giving keynote little small talks about writing and, and the CLC in general. We're going to have a peer mentor panel where you can ask peer mentors anything. And when we talk about your potential like contributions, you'll see that you can participate in that in some fun ways. There may or may not be breakout rooms. We're going to see how it goes, but it would be really cool to have like peer mentors like in separate breakout rooms so you could talk to whoever you thought was interesting. Here's the discussion number six, and this is where it comes to our class. The showcase is coming up. April 23rd is the date. It's Friday. The event is going to be from 1 to 2 p.m. So keep your eyes posted. I'm going to be posting the flyer with the Zoom link in our class announcements. For now, though, for this week, what I want you to be able to do by the end of the week is articulate how you are going to participate in the writing showcase. And you have some options. So because we've been working on interview, like since the beginning of the semester, right? It's one of the primary research methods that we've really learned a lot about. You guys practiced interviewing each other. You guys have been working on a professional interview, which you're going to integrate into your revised websites that are going to be due at the end of the semester. One option for how you can contribute, and there's two ways to get the full points. I should say that first. The first way is to contribute some piece of composing, be it a digital composition or a written composition. Also, you should show up and participate in the Zoom event. So it's two ways to get yourself to the full points. Within that composition contribution, you can create some interview questions for an instructor or a peer mentor that you can then actually ask on the day. So I'm just asking for like seven questions, five to seven questions for you to have in your pocket. You could also make a video of yourself talking through an assignment. So you could talk through your website. You could maybe do a screen share and kind of talk through like some of the things you started with and what you might change for the end of the semester. You could do an update of project two where you maybe even like get your old PowerPoint going or maybe change it a little bit to reflect what you're doing in project three. Either way, you want to make a short video. I mean, like no more than no more than three minutes, I would say, just to talk through something that you're proud of that you've done this semester. You'll walk through the context, the rhetorical choices you've made and your own writing or learning process in a assignment-based video. The other option is to make a video of yourself talking about an important interaction that you had this semester. So that could be with me, with a classmate, with a peer mentor. So basically we're trying to cover a bunch of bases, right? If you don't wanna make a video, you can draft some interview questions. If you don't wanna draft questions, you can make a video of yourself talking through an assignment, or you could just talk about a really important interaction that you had. And the reason I'm making that an option is because we're online. I don't think often we pay as much attention to the interactions we have, but we are having them, right? You guys have been doing 
peer review with each other. You've been interacting on the chat with your peer mentors, with your classmates. You've been getting feedback from me, setting up appointments with me to chat. Even emails, right? Like there could be a moment that was really important in terms of interaction for you. And if you feel comfortable sharing that, I'd love for you to make a video about it. So whatever you wanna contribute, I want you to write what your plan is in this discussion thread. And then later on, there's gonna be two Canvas assignments, Showcase Participation Part 1, which is where you'll post your documents or your link to your videos, and Showcase Participation Part 2, which is where I will give you credit for attending the Zoom event. Whew. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. If you have any questions about the showcase, please feel free to shoot me an email. We can always also set up our, a Zoom office hours if you like and talk about it. Now, last thing I'm gonna talk about in this video is your in-process reflection for project three. So you're doing your read-throughs, you're, you're hitting those lower order concerns, but in the rush of the semester, we're gonna pause and reflect, it's what Kathleen Blake Yancey calls reflection in action. So this is a point for you to pause and think about what's working, what's not working. Do you need to reorganize or reframe something for yourself in order to finish really strong? So this is like in the process. We haven't turned it in yet, but it's not the beginning of the assignment. Where are you now? And there's three main prompts here. Which part of writing project three has been your favorite and why? Something has been good. So grab onto that something and tell me about it. Which has been the most challenging and why? I know something's been challenging, so write about it. And then this one is the one I'm most interested in, like from a nerdy teacher perspective. If you could wave a magic wand, and give yourself the insights, knowledge, dispositions, or skills you need in order to succeed this week and for the rest of the project, what would you give yourself? What if you had a magic wand? What if you were a genie and could say, whatever you need, your wish is granted? Take about a paragraph or so to address each one of these prompts in writing. I hope that this is a really productive assignment for you because what I've found in my own writing life is that reflecting on my process, reflecting on my choices, and reflecting on my needs is often exactly what I need to get the clarity to really follow through with a writing project. Okay, that's all I have for you. I'm gonna go back to our full view and close out this video. All right. Well, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your week. Enjoy some time for reflection. Enjoy some time for planning for the showcase. And I hope that you do enjoy your reread of your literature review for those lower order concerns. I think that you're going to make some interesting discoveries. So trust the process. All right. I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye, everybody.